It was really, really, really exciting seeing that transparent ostrich feather dress. I have to say, you had full bosom exposure, which was really something quite breathtaking. I am Hamish Bowles, international editor-at-large for Vogue magazine. I travel the world seeking out the most singular pieces to add to my couture collection, a collection which I've spent nearly a lifetime assembling. If it's out there, I'll find it on Vintage Bowles. I'm about to look at some pieces from the collection of uh, Danielle Luquet de Saint-Germain. She was a house model at Saint Laurent Couture in the 60s. She really represented a kind of sexualized modern 60s woman that was very, very different from the kind of mannequins that he'd been working with at Dior. And there was an exhibition of her work in Switzerland and I remember seeing the catalog and being kind of sort of dazzled by the pieces. I'm really excited to see the clothes, so. Lovely to see you again. <laughs> How are you? On va te montrer les très jolies choses. Parfait. Already I recognize this dress. Et là, c'est vraiment la fameuse robe qui a fait scandale parce qu'elle avait les seins nus. That's so exciting. It's such an iconic piece of fashion history. Inured as we are to um, transparency on the runways, I think it would still be a little bit startling today, certainly in the context of a haute couture show. Wow, she ça, really had fabulous ça, things, ça, my God. Ça, this Saint Laurent, Saint -Laurent. Oh, yeah, I remember this Saint -Laurent, one too. Couture, mm. La construction de cette robe, c'est incroyable. Yes. She continued her passion for fashion, working with young designers, including uh, Mugler, Montana, Alaya, and later Romeo Gili, Lacroix. Yeah, the collection's sort of a revelation to me, I must say, really astonishing pieces. These are such iconic things that I think there'll be a lot of museum interest. It's always a little bit daunting. La robe Picasso. Oh my God. There was a really great Saint Laurent from the Picasso collection, that kind of iconic cubist face embroidered, I think, by Lesage. This looks like it's just never been worn. C'est une, je pense, des plus grosses collections de haute couture qui existe. En Europe. I kind of love this with a sort of planer from the front and then you have the kind of motorbike leather. Il manque pas une ceinture. Toutes really? les ceintures sont avec. On a même les chaussures qui vont avec. It's accessories, it's belts, shoes, everything. Because there are 10,000 pieces all together, <laughs> there's going to be a series of sales and the first one is going to be a selection of, of highlights representing all the designers that she had an interest in collecting, which is Romeo Gili, as well as Lacroix and Montana. Uh, so many iconic pieces of Saint Laurent. I better start saving. <laughs> <laughs>